Hey you guys, happy Saturday. So we have a lot of new people and so I wanted to come on here and do this live to share different tips about social media, what to share on social media, um, because I'm sure some of those new people are like, well, what do I post on social media? How do I um, get customers there or recruits and whatnot? And so I made a list. I was actually laying in bed last night and I was like, all these thoughts are going through my mind on all these different things that I could share with you guys. And so I was like, I need to go live and share that because we have so many new people in our group. So I'm going to start with recruiting tips, some things that I utilize for my business and I know works. Um, I do want to say one thing I do tell new people is when they ask how to share on social media, I'll just tell them like scroll my Facebook page, kind of see what I share, how I post. Um, I keep it very authentic to myself and how I talk um, and what attracted you to me? Why did you choose me to be your sponsor? Um, and that kind of helps guide them in that uh, lane of, oh, I liked I liked her because she did X, Y, and Z. I liked her because she's very consistent with her business. I like her because she treats this as a business. And so I like to tell those new people when they do ask me, well, what attracted you to me? What did you like about me to choose me as your sponsor? And so I'm going to start with recruiting tips that I utilize for social media. So I'm a mom. I'm sure majority of you know I have four kids. I have one on the way. And so I try to share things that I'm doing with my kids. I haven't done it as much lately, but I do like to share, like, if we go outside for the day um, or if we go on a walk, it's a great post to share. So I'm a stay-at-home mom. Um... Since he is my source of income, my husband does work, but for me personally and how my husband and I split the bills because we do a budget every month, it's my only source of income. And so things you're doing with your kids. So if you have kids, what are you doing with them? Um, a lot of us are homeschooling our kids now because school is out. Um, so if you're homeschooling, you know, how crazy is it at your house since you're homeschooling? Because, um... It gets pretty crazy here when I try to homeschool the kids and share that. People want to see that you're a real person. You have real issues per se in that area. Did you sleep in today? Um, I typically, my kids sleep till about 8.30, 8 to 9 o'clock. Um, and so... I don't sleep good at night and I'll share that on social media. Like I had just haven't been sleeping good at night cause I'm pregnant. Last night was horrible. Um, so did you sleep in today? Does the Cincy opportunity allow you to sleep in? Does it allow your kids to sleep in? Does it allow you to have breakfast every morning with them? Um, so that is geared more towards the mom life. Share your mom life on social media. People want to see that. Um, a great engagement post. I, this one has nothing to do with recruiting, but it's a great engagement post to get people commenting. Um, so then they see your other post. What's for dinner? What did you cook for dinner? This one I utilize a lot and I'll get lots of comments and I actually use, I'll, I'll ask if something sounds um, good to me. I'll ask that person, hey, can I have your recipe? And then it kind of gets us connecting on that way so it can turn into recruiting because we are connecting sort of um, but that's a great engagement post it's a great way to connect um, start commenting oh that looks good what's your recipe and those sorts of things um, yard work I'm not a yard work yard work person um, but I'm sure some of you like to garden um, some of you I mean my husband put up a swing set the other day and I shared that on social media. Um, so if yard work or gardening's your thing, like maybe share how much you enjoy doing that in your free time. Um, oh, I already mentioned going for a walk and things that you're doing with your kids. So these are all great 
things to share on social media so people see, oh, like, oh, she gets to do that. Or um, she only has to work part-time because her Cincy thing is, you know, going good. Like, you know, those types of things. It gets the wheels spinning in people's minds, and then they start questioning, like, how is she able to do all these things? Um, another great recruiting tip, if any of you have earned, like, any sort of incentive. I know we're in the middle of an incentive period now, but if you've earned like a previous one, you can do like a flashback, like flashback Friday, like, oh my gosh, this trip was so much fun. Um, make sure that when you do post some things, you check the compliance Mom? info on it. Mom? Yes, Liam, excuse me. Okay, I'm on with my team. I'm on with my, I'm on with my team right now, so you need to go back upstairs. I'll be up there in a minute crazy life. Um, so make sure you check the compliance info on when you need to um, post that income disclosure and whatnot in your post. But you can share that you've earned an incentive. You can flash back to like I've earned several in incentive trips. So just make sure you include that income disclosure and you check all your compliance info. So when you're posting stuff, you're in compliance and you don't get in trouble for it. Um, so those are a few things for recruiting. Um, now for selling. So I like to look at selling as sharing and not really selling because nobody likes to be sold to. And how I think of this is when you go to buy a car, how many car salesmen like flock to you? Um, so nobody really likes that. So I like to think of it as sharing because of the way you're posting. Now I know with like limit, limited time offerings, it's harder to kind of share that because you're kind of being... So, I mean, you're still sharing, and but you're using flyers. Um, I try to use real life images when possible, as much as possible, because they're just more attractive, I feel, in my personal opinion to people. Um, so keep that in mind, too, when you are sharing stuff. If you can find a personal image or if you have that um, at home and you're using it, take a picture of you using it. That's going to sell it better than a flyer. Um, in my personal opinion. Now, if flyers work for you, then do flyers. Um, by all means, do what works for you. Um, but a few sharing tips for selling that I wrote down. Um, wax change day. Um, so all of you sell Cincy. I'm sure all of you have wax and warmers at home. That's what we're most known for. Are you changing your wax at least weekly? If you're not, I would highly suggest that you do so. And when you do so, take a picture of your warmer and your wax and what you're putting in there. Um, if you aren't utilizing that stories feature, which I've posted in here numerous times, it's a great way to just do a little snippet and you don't even have to have your face in it. Just your warmer, you put in your cotton balls or your cotton clean up in there, soaking up the wax and putting new wax in there. People want to see that because then they know you're using the products and they're more opt to buy from you because you enjoy it. Therefore, they want to enjoy it with you. Scentsy Fresh. I've been utilizing this one for a while now and I do the stories feature and I... Just do a little snippet of me spraying my bed or I'll be spraying my couch and um, my recliners. If you're not using the product, it's kind of hard to sell it to people. Um, so make sure you're trying to use the products as much as possible when posting on social media. Um, samples. Are you handing out samples? Are you mailing samples? Those who order from you, are you giving them samples? This is a great way to gain new customers, to keep repeat customers coming back because they're always smelling something new and different. Um, the Scent of the Month kit is a great kit to utilize for this. I personally always am enrolled in at least the Scent of the Month. The warmer for myself kind of varies depending on um, what it looks like and whatnot and if I personally like it. Now, I never... Um, go on social media and say that I don't like something. Um, I still share a picture of the warmer even if I didn't buy it. I've been trying to post real life pictures in this group of the warmers for you all to help with that sharing aspect. But the scent of the month kit you can do monthly. I do it monthly. It is a business write-off so keep that in mind. 
and you get nine bars, a room spray, you get a tester, you get the little pamphlet flyer things, and rub and smell stickers, and then I buy felt. I buy felt. I actually have it right here from Pear Creek Cottage, and this month, and she, I think she tries to match it up with what's coming out, so it's bees and honeycombs, and then some little, um, like watering cans, and I buy my felt monthly from her, always super cute, super fast shipping too, and I do a monthly mailing to my PWS um, customers. They get that, if they've ordered within the last 90 days, they're going to get a sample and a coupon or something in the mail for me. Now, those who purchase directly from me and do like a porch pickup or whatnot, they get the same things in their bag. Um, those one, those people typically um, order from me more often, and so I don't have to mail their stuff out because they're always buying from me. And I, they get the same things in their bag directly. Um, so that kind of saves me on postage too. Um, but I do make sure those PWS orders get that sample because I want them to keep coming back and keeping me as their Scentsy person. So, um, and you can make samples of, um, things other than wax. You can do Scentsy Fresh samples. You can do, um, oh, I did whiff samples and I actually had a lady buy one of my good customers. She was like, I loved that sample. I washed my blanket in it. I need that. And she bought a tub of, can you put a link to those? Which ones, Jackie? The felt? Do you have a link to the lady? Yes, I can post a, she is on Etsy. I will share her Etsy shop. I'll do a different post after this video so that way it's easier to find because I've recently discovered that sometimes it's hard to get those links in my live videos. So I will share that. Um, actually, let me write it down because I'm not for it. Just a second. Okay, so I need to share the felt, felt link. And then all of my other um, sample supplies I get from Amazon. I will create, what I'm going to do, let me write down Amazon sample links. What I'm going to do is I will create a post and I will um, label it samples. So that way when you go to the topics and cl click samples, all of my links of things that I have used or am using for samples um, will be there so it's easy to find. So um, Amazon sample links in a new post. Y'all, this pregnancy makes me forget everything. <laughs> if I don't write it down, like forget it. Y'all aren't going to get it done. Okay, so and then the Cincy Success Store has like pre-made samples that you can buy as well. Um, I just bought some body care samples because we aren't allowed to make those ourselves, And so I just bought them from the success store. So that'll be my, my next batch of samples. Um, so are you loving a new scent? So we release a new catalog twice a year, spring, summer, fall, winter. We always get new scents. Um, we get, you know, the limited time offering things. If those things are still available and you're really loving that scent, make sure you're sharing that on social media. Um, what product are you using it in that you really love it? Um, and those types of things. Uh, do you or your kids take a bath? I personally have been taking bath. Well, I used to take baths a lot. And then I got pregnant and I was like, I don't really want to take a bath. I just want to take a quick shower. <laughs> I don't want to sit here in this tub. Um, and then I've been having lower back pain. And so I've been trying to get back into taking baths. And But my kids do take baths. And so I will do, <clears throat> I will take a selfie <laughs> with that Scentsy Silk or I'll have my kids. I've had Mason take a picture with the Scentsy Silk because he was getting ready to take a bath. And we share that on social media. And um, like all the benefits there are from... Um, the Scentsy Silk benefits as in what is stated in the description. I don't make any other claims other than that, except what is in the description and the um, ingredients that are in there, like the sunflower oil, the aloe, and um, whatever else is listed in there. So I never make 
any claims. I keep it to what Cincy says and how much we like it. Actually, Liam just took a bath in it this morning because he had an accident last night. <laughs> um, so, yes, if you or your kids take a bath... Um, and we also have like body wash and all that types of things. You can take a picture with the body wash um, and whatnot. So when was the last time you cleaned your stove? You guys, we have a cleaning line. Um, now, when you are sharing the cleaning line, because there's a lot of craziness going on, make sure you don't link it to this quarantine and the coronavirus and all that that we're in because it's not for that it's for everyday cleaning use however it can be a great seller um i clean my table with it i clean my stove with it um i try to share it when i can um it usually it's in the stories feature because i want to get more people watching my short little videos um so if you are cleaning share that um sometimes i'll do um the bathroom cleaner i will do a little excuse me, a little stories feature with the bathroom cleaner, spraying it in the, in the bathtub to show that, like, I'm using the cleaner, and yes, I'm cleaning my bath, I do clean my bathtub, um, do you have dishes, do some of you guys do dishes by hand, we have dish soap, um, and so, sometimes, uh, I've actually utilized taking a picture of me holding the bottle with the soapy water in there to show, like, I'm using the dish soap, and, whatnot. I've done that with the Johnny Appleseed one. I really like that scent. And then the last one I have written down is do you mop your floors? <laughs> this one I've been doing at least once a week. I've been mopping my floors at least once a week. And once again, I just hold that, um, the all purpose cleaner and I'll have my sink full and I'll hold it. And I just take a picture and I talk about how I'm getting ready to mop my floors. Um, once again, I don't link any of our cleaning products to this um, coronavirus thing that we have going on because that's not what our products are for. They're for everyday cleaning. However, you can still share them because they are great products. Just make sure when you word stuff, you're not linking it to the whole virus thing that we have going on. So those are a few tips that I wanted to come on here and share since we have a lot of new people and um, I get the question a lot like, well, what do I post on social media? Well, maybe I should like really explain that. So hopefully this helps you out. I will go through um, when I go back upstairs and I will make a list of all those links that I use for you guys for samples. I'll try to find as many as I can on Am Amazon on my phone. Sometimes it only gives you like, it only goes back so far for items purchased. Um, so I will work on that as soon as I go upstairs. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to your sponsor. Um, and if your sponsor can't answer and I'm your director, then you're more than welcome to reach out to me and then ask me and I can guide you to where that answer will be at. So with that being said, I'm going to hop off here and I hope you guys have a wonderful Saturday.